my band uh, at Ellis Mania 6. That's all four of us against you in a wrestling fight. Fucking A. You would oh, do that? Absolutely. Yeah. And I wanted to uh, add an element. Forrest, tell me if you've been to this, if you actually cared about anything on the planet besides your shitty book. I don't care uh, about that either. You don't trust even, me. Fuck, you're the man. It's garbage. I really am starting to it's like garbage. you. Check out Forrest Griffin's shitty book at some shitty bookstore. About you... shit? Literally. It's about fucking dudes shit the and title. shit. <laughs> <laughs> How to rape a dude and take a shit with Forrest Griffin. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, Shane Carmen, I will fight you and we'll wear MMA gloves and headgear because the other guys have to watch out that they don't get concussions because they're pussies. But uh, there's submissions are allowed to be You're not involved. You're going to get a concussion wrestling. That's the stupidest thing I've what? ever heard. You're not going to get a concussion wrestling. Have you seen Raw Dog? Are you going to play him? On no, what head? happens if he falls over and hits his head on the mat? <laughs> oh, fuck him. <laughs> Only the strong survive, uh, man. It's not, well, on. that's not the way. No, see, you're a Neanderthal, and I you am. would just be yes. with a bunch of Neanderthals, and sooner or later you'd get hungry and start eating each other. Which I would keep a cocksucker like that so that he could invent the wheel, <laughs> and I, then I could I roll out. I would probably eat him. Yeah, I know. You're scary, dude. I don't trust you. So are you into that, Shane? Yeah, Absolutely. Are we wrestling, or are we are we are we doing uh, you know some MMA? What, what is it? So it's all I wrestling. Think it, I think you it can't would, do MMA. I think we can do. <laughs> your, your job title doesn't preclude you from doing any MMA. It's what just wrestling. Why can't you just do a little bit of MMA? I don't know. Like you're not allowed to really. Don't, you're not allowed to punch and kick raw dog in the Dan face. Don't Dana off. It's, we thought that's a rule. Oh, you think that's gonna piss? <laughs> I don't know. Just make sure you don't uh, step on any toes there. Do you think that might happen, Shane? What? We could call it training. You could come in to train. Yeah, you're yeah. trying. You're trying to piss. Yeah, I'm, let's just do wrestling, because Forrest lives in Dana White's ass. <laughs> so a, whatever, it's, whatever it's, he says it's is warm where, and happy. I'm All just my say, needs are met. I know. I've, I've never heard him say one bad dude. Forrest, he's the greatest fucking guy, bro. He's such a great athlete, bro. He's always there, bro. He's never, he's never, never, he's injured, doesn't care, bro. He's a real fighter. Uh, yeah, we know about Forrest. I've heard it all from Dana White. He's he's publicist. <laughs> so uh, so yeah, I would say we, we will wrestle each other. And we will add submissions, because that's not MMA. What the fuck you got high school trophies over here for? That's what? a surf trophy for the greatest for wave what? ever caught at Tabarua by me. <laughs> Phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah. That's great. Maybe we could get some of these other big names, you know, at, uh, that uh, wrestling obviously gave them the opportunity that they have. So uh, maybe we can get a Brock Lesnar out there, a Kane Velasquez, Josh Koscheck, some of these other big-time wrestlers. I definitely think we could get Josh Koscheck. I'm friends with him. Yeah. You know, other... I think we can get a. I think we can get a Stephen Neal too. He's uh, he's supposed to give me a call and and say thanks for being out there and helping support his program. And as everyone knows he's an All Pro and he plays for the Patriots. So yeah, uh, they definitely like... they definitely need to save wrestling because if, if it wasn't for wrestling, you could almost beat the greatest fighter in the world. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about fucking Chael Sonnen. Yeah, man, yeah. he fucking son was... of bitch. Oh. Son of bitch. That's the biggest oh, oh I've ever seen in my life. Poor bastard. Actually, now there was another one that I saw recently. Yeah. I, there's no way that Shane Carwin was as bummed as I was about Shane Carwin not beating Brock Lesnar. <laughs> there's no way. I saw your face after the fight. I was way more devastated than you were. Way more. Uh, yeah, you know, shit. Shit happens and I'll, I'll work on some things and... And, uh, you know, that's it. Uh, you know, you go, you go out there and do your best you can, and, and you come out and... Uh, Shit does happen. It's true. I think it's I've a good there. thing for you, dude. It happens to me a fucking lot. Yeah, but that's yeah, because yeah. you've got a stupid head and you don't move it. <laughs> yeah, I've tried. I've tried. Fuck. <laughs> nah, I've seen you kind of like, nah, I'm going to keep it there. It's good Fuck for the it. fans. Fuck it, yeah. You're a man's man. We love you. You're the people's champ. I'm fucking moderately retarded. You don't have brain damage yet. I can tell you are not fucking fried yet. Yeah. You seem like you've got a brain. Do you, do you ever think life would be easier if you were just permastoned, like just fried? Yeah. Like, I just hope when I do get retarded, I'm like one of those happy old retarded guys. When I first started boxing, we had a guy like that at the gym. Yeah. Who's like, hey, hey. Who's always He's like happy. happy. He was fucking retarded, but he was happy. It's not and it's fun I, to say retarded. He's supposed to say mentally challenged. He was fucking retarded. Right. Because he started out video. okay, and then he got hit in the head like a million times. Right. Brain damage. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. But as long as he's happy, ignorance is bliss. Well, it was like a warning. It was like, if you're going to box, the waiver is talk to him. Right. Like, hey, man, he's in thing. Right, let's get off this one and talk to Shane Cowan, because I'm trying to tell Shane yeah. Cowan that that loss was actually uh, it was a gift. Because now, when you get the belt, it's going to be that much sweeter, because you've gone through highs and lows. You, everyone has to go through highs and lows. You didn't lose a fight. 
You need to feel uh, defeat before you can have the ultimate victory. I know right, Forrest Griffin. Sounds like bullshit to me. Wait a minute, didn't you lose one time before you won the belt? I lose all the time, though. But before you won the belt, who beat you out? Who knocked you out? Uh, Wasn't it uh, fucking uh, the Dean of Mean? The, the Billy He knocked himself. you the fuck out. Repeatedly, and then, and, yeah. And then you beat up his boy and took the belt in front of everybody. I suppose that happened, yeah. You were pretty fucking happy about it. I was there. Yeah. I was giving Everlast a hundred bucks when you were fucking talking about how cool you are for getting punched in the face. I was like, you fucking asshole. You lost money to Everlast. Fucking white people. Hey, Always fucking hey, get the win. Fucking bullshit. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, Shane Cohen, you're lucky. That's what I think. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm excited, man. We'll get, we'll get back in there and... Uh, you I know. mean, you had it, dude. You had it. Yeah. You're better than him. Well. You're better than him. Remember when he shot on you and, then you, and, you di and he didn't go down and he stood up and then you punched him in the face? Remember that bit? Absolutely. That was I, fucking I, awesome. I, I've challenged his athleticism to my athleticism from the start, man. You know, I just got to be able to con continue that through through five rounds and work on some things, and, and I'm excited about it. And, you know, I'm excited to fight whoever I get next. Shit. Yeah, it's going to be Taint Stick. I love fighting. Who's he fighting? Taint Stick. My band. So my wow. Yeah. It's like, is that a banjo? It's a banjo. I really like you, Shane Cohen. Thanks for calling the show, and let's stay connected so that we can keep this whole thing uh, going so that we can finalize how you're going to beat up my band. Absolutely. Is there anything that the kids need to know about when it comes to this wrestling thing to help wrestling from not existing so that Charles Sonnen can be a living legend? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the whole thing with wrestling is, you know, um, I kind of always called it a, a poor kid sport. and I was poor growing up, and it, it was a sport that poor kids were in, and I was in the boys' club, and you listen to a lot of the stories, and a lot of these guys come from the same background, and, and it's a tough sport, and, and it's a martial art, and there's a lot of great guys that come out of it, and a lot of great college programs, and let's face it, there's a lot of great MMA fighters that come out of it, and, and it's, a, it's a definite uh, worthy cause. Forrest Griffin, how do you feel about wrestling? Fucking hate it. Oh, you hate wrestling? Yeah, I hate it. Oh, dude, just want to throw me on my head. Uh, I'm what? not a fan. But, I mean, that's only because I suck at it. If I'd wrestled, I'd probably love it. Right. But, uh, you know, basketball seemed much cooler at the time. Little did I know. It panned out for you all right. More or less. You're all right, dude. They're not going to fire you anytime soon. I think you could lose three straight and still hold the job there. Uh, well, I'll, I'll find out. I'll let you know. <laughs> we'll see. Positive attitude there by Forrest Griffin. Shane Cohen, I have to go. All right, man. Thanks for call thanks for letting me uh, call in late, buddy. Sorry thanks, about that. thanks. Take That's care, right, Shane. Later, mate. There is Shane Cohen, a real American who has two jobs. That is that around ludicrous. Writing books about fucking saving the <laughs> saving yourself from being um, ass raped. Trying to save the world. So, what was the other question that I had style. for you? There's a bunch of calls. Everybody wants to talk to you about shit. You don't drink or smoke. Do you drink? Do you get drunk? Uh, I drink. Yeah, I drink. Sometimes. I don't drink liquor. I drink uh, beer and red wine in limited quantities. Do you want to hit me? All the time. Do you want to uh, hit me with this massive stick thing? It's like a kendo stick. No, I don't use sticks. You don't do sticks? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't heard know. that you can really fucking hurt somebody if you rack that across the back of their legs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I would bet. I would bet. Hey. How about you? You a drinker? Nah. Because of the drugs and all. You had to quit teetotal it? Yeah. I'll smoke crack if I drink. Yeah. It's not really. If, I, not just anymore. Right it was down just the, a time in right my life. Right down the spiral? Not now. Yeah. I just don't want to do it anymore now, but I, even if I did it, I'd be fine. I really enjoy drinking. I'm very intelligent now. I used to be stupid. If you say so, whatever. Well, you got, see, you got dumber as you got older because you got punched in the head all the time. And I don't I get punched drinking. in the head that much. Yeah. A little but, bit. But you were, you were doing crack, so, I mean. No, crack that's what I'm awesome. Crack's worse than punches to the head, for sure. Crack is probably the best thing ever. It does feel good. Crack, here's how, crack, here's how awesome crack is. I've seen people that should be dead not die because their desire for crack is so great. Yeah. Should be dead, but they want crack. Like, oh, well, I'll die later. i got to do some crack I first. think it's bad for your cardio, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't you think crack is. Yeah. yeah. There was an MMA dude that was, uh, that was addicted to crack. Who was that one dude? <sighs> Fuck if I know. I don't he did an interview about how he used to smoke crack you, and then he uh, came back to the UFT. I was like, man, what, the, what about the heroin addict dude that won the ultimate fighter? Yeah, he used to be a heroin, died one time. He yeah. died and he came back to life. Yeah, so he's got that going for him. Hey, do you have a fucking contest so we can add any drama to this, you cocksuckers, or is he just going to fucking wail on me? We're thinking he just wails on you. Right. Nobody else wants to fuck for us.
Dude, the guy's a friendly guy. He ain't going to go that hard, right? You're mellow. Yeah, I don't care.